Your Royal Highness, Princess Masha Chris Rindorn, ladies and gentlemen, it is a great pleasure for me to mark with you the 20th anniversary of the collaboration between Thailand and CERN. The collaboration was initiated with the visit of Her Royal Highness to CERN in May 2000 and through her extensive knowledge of and interest in CERN and in science and technology. This first visit has been followed by another five trips of Her Royal Highness to CERN, which were indispensable in consolidating the partnership between Thailand and CERN. Please allow me to thank Your Royal Highness for the dedicated commitment and support to this endeavour. Today, a user cohort of around 20 scientists and students from several institutes in Thailand are working at CERN with important contributions to the physics and detectors of the ALICE and CMS experiments at the Large Hadron Collider, the LHC, while computing centers in the country are well integrated into the worldwide LHC computing grid. Moreover, Thailand has made great strides during this period in developing the next generation of scientists and engineers with the regular participation of students and teachers in CERN summer student and high school teacher programs, which are valuable capacity building initiatives. The partnership between Thailand and CERN was crowned with the signing of an international cooperation agreement in 2018. I firmly believe that the continued close collaboration between Thailand and CERN will be mutually beneficial and I look forward to exploring options for the deepening of our cooperation as we now consider the next major project at CERN. Such a project will need a global commitment and we hope that Thailand will be part of it. Your Royal Highness, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your support and scientific engagement. Your Royal Highness, Princess Mahashakri Sivindon. Ladies and gentlemen, it's really an honor for me and a privilege to be part of this event, at least virtually, and to celebrate the 20th anniversary of the collaboration between Thailand and CERN. I'm representing here the CMS experiment that you see on my background. And in CMS, we have a long standing partnership with Thailand. It dates back to 2003, where we had the first expression of interest, signed. And then uh, it was followed in 2009 with another expression of interest and then formalized in 2012 when Thailand and specifically Chula Longkorn University joined us as a team member. The impact of Thailand in CMS has been exemplary and well beyond all expectations. The dedication and competence of Thai physicists and engineers in pivotal sectors, computing, physics studies are recognized at the highest level in the collaboration. Your Royal Highness gave us the privilege of a visit in several locations and your continued interest and a powerful impact in the evolution of our partnership. We remember very well your first visit at CMS, it was in 2009, when we were still doing baby steps. You came back later in 2015 and visited our crystal factory and eventually a third visit, or visit was in 2018 when my predecessor had the privilege to meet you in person at CERN. This was just in anticipation and a few months before the wonderful remote CMS week in December 2018, when 200 CMS physicists from all over the world were really warmly welcomed by your Royal Highness in Bangkok. Unfortunately, the current pandemic prevents meeting in person, but we really look forward to future gathering in Thailand in form of conferences, schools, and this will help to promote your young talents, but also from a future generation of scientists, the CMS really needs. Let me conclude saying that we have a challenging and bold future in front of us with the CMS upgrade project. We are expecting to collect 20 times more data in the next 15, 20 years, and this will unlock new exploratory path in the understanding of our world. We are sure that under the guidance and visions of your Royal Highness, our collaboration will grow stronger and stronger, both in terms of contributing institutes from Thailand, as well as in diversifying areas of interest. We really look forward in 20 years time to celebrate the 40th anniversary of the collaboration between Thailand and CERN, honoring the new discoveries that we'll be doing together. Thank you for your attention. Good morning. 
My name is Luciano Musa. I'm a senior scientist of the European Center for Nuclear Research and the scientific leader of the ELIS collaboration, which carries out one of the main experiments at the CERN Large Hadron Collider. It is a great honor to be invited to speak at the celebration of the 20th anniversary of the first visit of Her Royal Highness Sirindon to CERN. Since then, thanks to her vision, initiative and support to a highly motivated, competent and vibrant Thailand scientific community coordinated by Dr. Pairash, the role of Thailand at CERN has greatly evolved and matured in these 20 years. The first Thai institution to become a full member of a CERN experiment was the Suranari University of Technology, which joined the ELIS collaboration in 2011 with a group led by Professor Chinorat Kobdash. This paved the way to a broader participation of Thailand in the ALICE experiment, with the three more institutions joining shortly after. The Synchrotron Light Research Institute, the Thai Microelectronics Center, and the King Mongot University of Technology, Thombori. Physicists and engineers from these four institutions joined forces to form a strong and cohesive multidisciplinary team to participate in the ELIS physics and in the phase one upgrade program, notably the development of the new silicon tracker, the RETS, and the new data readout and processing system, the Osquare project. Owing to the strong synergy between physicists and engineers of these four teams working on the development of advanced detector technologies, also in collaboration with the high-tech industry, and on the analysis and interpretation of the experimental results, the Thai groups have managed to have a major impact on the ALICE detector upgrade and on the generation of scientific results already in the first 10 years of participation. I would like to conclude this brief intervention by expressing on behalf of the ALICE collaboration an immense gratitude to Her Royal Highness Sirindon, to Dr. Pairash and to the Thai scientific community for undertaking a long and exciting journey with the ALICE experiment, which promises discoveries that will advance our understanding of nature and its laws, and at the same time, opens many opportunities to, to train young scientists and engineers on cutting edge technologies. I wish an excellent continuation of this celebration and thank you very much for your attention.